Hello everyone. Today we are going to go through service LAN, which is a program on the implementation section of algorithm on Akarain. So without wasting time, let us have a look on the problem statement. So in this problem, we are supposed to find out um, the biggest or the largest weight of a very credit anchor that can move from a given point to another. So let us have a little bit of a context. So uh, we have a service line, which is uh, made up of different, different width. Like you can see, this is a width. This is another width. This is a width, this is a width. So we have different width. Let's assume we want a vehicle from most to year to year. So from the vehicle to be able to move to year to year, it should have uh, the maximum width of this because if it is larger than this, maybe it can move from year to year, but when it will, be, it will need to move here, it will not be possible. So this is globally the idea of, of this problem. Let us take an example. So we have this, we have a, seven line, a, a service line, and then we have an arrow of weight. That means, okay, at position one, the weight is two. At, po at position zero, the weight is two. At position one, the weight is three and then move on so on and so forth. And then we say, okay, if you want a vehicle to move from zero to three, what should be the biggest size of the vehicle? Now, uh, from zero to three, we have zero, one, two, three. So this is actually the path. We are moving from zero to three. And you do agree with me that if you are able to move from zero to three, that means you are able to move from each of the path from zero to three. To move from part two, you should be uh the, you should be uh, you should not be greater than two. So we can say okay at the beginning we say okay the size should be two. After two is three, okay we say okay if you are two we can see go. Now if you are two you cannot move at one. So at this point we are supposed to update our answer and say okay the size should be one instead. And if you are one you can see pass out two. So for move to move from zero to three you should be uh um you should be at most one. So that is why the answer here is one. To move from four to six, so this is four, five, six. So to move from four to six, we can apply the same thing. Okay, to move at four, you need to be three. So you are going to answer three. Now you move forward. If you want to pass uh, at position five, the width of position five is two. You cannot do it with three. So the answer here should be actually two. You should decrease at two and then with the two, we should be able to pass at position six, which is width of three. Yes, it should be possible. So the answer here is yes, two. That is two here. So basically, this problem, we are supposed to look through the range and find out the minimum width of that range. Basically, that's what you are supposed to do. And then how are we going to solve it? So uh, we are just going to look through the range and then we are going to consider the first element as our solution. And then uh, while moving, if you find an element which is smaller than the first element, then at that point, we are going to erase our previous answer and consider the new smallest element as our answer. Now to solve this, we have an issue. The issue is that this problem, they're not providing us with the width. I think it's a it's an issue with the, the problem description or something like that. So we are going to add it, our own. we are going to add it. Sorry, it's a vector of, it's a vector of int, so we are going to call it weight. And then we are lucky that it has been computed here, just that it's not part of the parameter. So you should just add it here. You should just add the weight here. Nice. Now we have it, we can start our logic. So we are going to have an array of results. So we are going to say, okay, we are going to say a uh, vector of int is our result. And that is what we should return. Now that we have this array, the next thing we should do is that we are supposed to loop through um, the cases, right? So we, are, we can have like four or two case of. So this one, we have each of the element of, of this array. Now for each of the element of the array, we are supposed to kind of have our, our initial stage. So we are going to have maybe int r we take. The initial stage should be um, actually, let's say here, for year to move from zero to three, we said we said that the initial state is two. Why we said two? Because two is actually width of zero. So we read 
of k of 0. So that is the initial state. And then here we are supposed to have our loop. And then at the end, we are supposed to have result of pushback of r. And then what would the loop look like? So the loop would just be like, you will just be looping like from i moving from z from k of zero, right? i is less than less or equal to k of one. I plus plus. K of zero is to zero. K of one is the second element. So we are moving from this to this. That's why I'm starting from k of zero to k of one. And then I will say I will just take since I need the minimum. I will say I will just take minimum of R and then weight of I. And then at the end of the at the end of this, this R will have the minimum value of uh, the element from year to year. So and then at the end, I can push it to, to my result and I return the result. Let us run and see what it gives. We have a congratulation. Let us submit. Perfect, everything green. So this is my approach of solving this. I hope you do enjoy it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share to do not miss what we are doing here in terms of data structure and algorithm. It was a pleasure to share this with you. See you on the next video. Ciao.